Oh, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Eevee Football News. In today's video, we're going to be doing the transfer shirt. Let's get right into the video. One, two, three, come on! So, first of all, we're going to be starting off with two Arsenals. And sadly, we don't have any additional ones. So, we're going to be going... Um, we're going to be going to... Um, we're going to be doing three. So, the third one's going to be a bit of like a shocker type so yeah so first of all it um the first one's D D Diawari is it how you call him he's from Roma um he is meant to be if we don't get Thomas Partey that could be that could be a backup for us that's what um the apps have been telling me uh, the football apps have been telling me um personally I think he's just like a Thomas Partey I've been watching how he plays and stuff because I've been scouting them out. He looks like a defensive midfielder like Thomas Partey. Um good in interceptions. Um he 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 wins back the ball really quickly, good at long shots. Um so basically he's the same height as Thomas Partey, six foot. He is um he, he's from Guinea, different country from Ghana. Um same same continent though, Africa. But yeah. Um Overall, he's just like a Thomas Partey, um, except one place for in the, the league or one place for Serie A, but it's, it's okay. Um, um, I prefer Thomas Partey because he has more experience, as um, um, Diawari is 23 and Thomas Partey is 27, so um, I, I look for the experience more than the um, potentials, because we have a pretty young side, you, you could actually say. Except for the Bamiangs, who's 30, David Louise, 32, um, Emilio Martinez, who's <clears throat> like in his 30s, 30s, I think 34, something like that. We have pretty old players, but at the same time, Mikhail Teto plays the youth players like Joe Willock, um, Matei Buenduzzi when he was at, I wasn't in trouble before, um, Eddie Nketiah um, is like rotational with um, Lacazette. Um, Nicolas Pepe is fairly young, and we have like a mixture. Um, I'd say um, defense is pretty old. Um, like Socrates if he actually plays and everything. So yeah, um, let's move on to uh, our next one, which is Felipe Coutinho. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's Felipe Coutinho. I got it suggested. Um, actually, um by Repex. Subscribe to him. He asked me to give him a shout out. I will give him you a shout out. Repex. Link will be in the description down below. Um, and a few others, other channels that you should check out as well. So Felipe Coutinho ha reached his, is at the peak age. He's really, he's a really talented player. I think he got a bit carried away when he went, when he went to Barcelona. As you can see, Barcelona didn't even want him. Um, he's on loan to buy in Munich so but I think Barca want to sell him as soon as possible. Um everybody thought when he went to buy in um he'd be back but really I think we're gonna be getting the um the um the re reject version of him because I don't I don't I don't oh, he's not as good as he used to be in um, Liverpool. But he said he wants to return to the Premier League and I think this transfer could actually happen. You know why? Because his agent is at his agent's actually an Arsenal supporter, and he caters for the Arsenal, some Arsenal players too, like Cedric Suarez, um, David Luiz, and um, some others. Um, he also caters for Willian, so that could be something. Um, but I think I think Willie, um, our next one is Willian. Um, so um, yeah, but that's not the shocker. Um, so anyway, yeah, um, that's all for Felipe Coutinho. I think he should um, go to Arsenal. It's just, it's, it's, I just, I just want him because I think he hasn't adapted to the other leagues. I think he's fully adapted to the Prem. And yeah, um, next we have um, uh, William to Arsenal. Um, William is now a free agent. Um, William's now a free agent and. Um, I'm not sure if I want him, 
Cause he's he's bringing that free kicks, but we but we have brilliant free kicks in Pepe and Aubameyang, those lot. But um, like I said, I'm not on Xhaka as well. But I'm not sure if I really want him because he's pretty old. He's he's in his thirties right now. I think thirty one. He he's a really fast player. He's he brings experience to our side. But when he I I know he'd probably fit in. Um, but what about think about Nicolas Pepe because we have an overload in that position. Nicola Pepe starts sometimes, Saka starts sometimes, and if Abandon stays, we can't we can't miss out Saka because Saka you, you know what I'm saying? Like there Saka can play in the wing back position, but I want to see him play more forward and score those goals. You know that brilliant um volley from in from the Wolves game that was that was beautiful. But listen, like I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind um, William going. It's just I had Chelsea didn't look too great. You know, sometimes it, he's he's pretty inconsistent. Because remember, in Barcelona, the Champions League, he was carrying the Chelsea side. Um, but then, uh, then I think it was just he got a bit worse when his, his when his mother died. I think he. Has he didn't really get used to his mother not being there? I I I get I get when players feel like that, and I think that might have like you know made them really sad and down. So yeah, but now the shocker. It goes in three, two, one. Messi to Inter Milan. You guys might be thinking, no way, Messi gonna stay at Barcelona. But apparently, Messi's not really happy at Barcelona. Um, so he, I think it's gonna be a possible exit. Inter Milan looks like his destination. Everybody thinks he's gonna stay. Everything. Everybody thinks it's all nice and rosy. But really, in Messi's in Messi's mind, it's not really. I, I'm not sure why he wants to leave. I think it's because of the financial difficulty. Um, I think that like, Barcelona having financial problems. I don't. I don't. I'm actually not sure. And they sp and they spent um lots of they cashed out lots of money on a a, a player in Pjanic that could possibly resign. And um, that in his thirties right now, and and they got rid of a a, a rising star and twenty three year old Arthur. I don't think it's looking really good at Barcelona. Tosh Diga might be on the move to Chelsea. Um, Luis Suarez might be on the move. Antoine Griezmann actually might be on the move. Coutinho might be on the move. You know, all these players could be on the move. I think Barcelona. Barcelona rely a lot on like Messi, like the 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 um front line. Their front line's brilliant. Their back line's brilliant. I think altogether they're strong side. They're, it's it's not a one man team, but you could you could obviously see like Messi. Um, you could see how Messi's good. He brings. He just makes um, all the players seem like that they're not great. But anyway guys, hope you like it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you tomorrow on the transfer show, and yeah, I'll see you all next time.